Welcome back to my channel. I have an empties video. I have quite a few things in here. I have literally been reading my book for hours and I'm kind of in that conked out kind of zone. <laughs> so let's delve on in. This is just a little body shop canvas bag that I got when I did body shop at home and I put all my empties into it. Let me just move my makeup bag just now so that I can oh, pop this stuff up here. So, oh my god, spilt the brim. Let's dive in. First things first is the hair dye that I use. This is by Nathan Wilson. It's permanent hair colour. It's called Pure Plaques. Bond Reconstructing Colour Cream, which protects against damage and breakage, rebuilds the hair's natural structure, restores strength, suppleness and volume. It has amino fix, repair and protect bond reconstructor. The colour I get is 10.21 Lightest Ash Blonde. It says, rich, long-lasting colour results, ultra-conditioning, shea, butter and argan oil, up to three levels of lift professional formula. Now... I only started dyeing my own hair in the last year or so. Um, after I finished college, doing my makeup course in 2020, when my student varsity stopped, I, d I couldn't afford to go and get my hair done because uh, it was very expensive. But I've never dyed my hair before. And then a friend who is a hairdresser, she dyed my hair and it was nothing to do with her and I'm not blaming her, uh, whatever the hair dye and stuff that she used on me, it just didn't take to my hair and it made my hair, when it was blonde, it was fine, like from here down, but it made the top of my hair go really orange and brassy, which was just not fine. So anyway, long story short, when I went to speak to the hairdresser about it, I just burst into tears because she was just like, it's going to cost you like nearly £200 to sort it. And I was like, I can't. But I knew I had to do something about my hair because it was like, it's going to, it's a mess. So I went and bought this hair dye, did the patch test, tried it and it worked and it helped my hair out. And ever since then, I've stuck to this hair dye. But being blonde, I'm a natural redhead. So a lot of my hair is like this dark brownie red now. And it was only in the second time that I used this that I realised that it has no peroxide in it, it, like no bleach. So it's not going to bleach my hair blonde. What it does is it makes the hair colour that you have, whether it's your natural hair colour or dye in it, it just lightens it. So basically what this does is with... The red parts of my hair, it just makes that colour lighter. And then the bits of blonde that I do still have in my hair, it just makes those bits of blonde lighter. So basically, I'm just lightening the colour that I already have. I have considered trying a different colour or a different brand, but I'm such a wimp and I don't want to ruin my hair because my hair is fine. There's nothing to it. It's literally so fine. As the hairdresser said, you know, even when it comes to putting dye in my hair or a uh, highlights, even though you're sat there for ages, she was like, you don't have, your hair's so fine, but you have a lot of it, but I just don't have the, th the thickness. So my hair to me is just, I hate it so much. It's such a disaster. Hopefully it's getting better than it was. I do not know. It's, it feels dry all the time, no matter what I do with it. I put masks on it. I hardly ever use heat on it, even though I recently got a hair waiver. I've used it, what, three times? Burnt myself with it as well. And I use heat protection and all that jazz, but it makes my hair smell like it's burning and just a oh, disaster. So anyway, long story short, this is the hair dye that I use, but... It is good in the sense that it's obviously not got ammonia and all that stuff in it. I hope that's right in what I'm saying. I, I'll try to look to see. Well, it does contain ammonia, but 
it doesn't have bleach in it so it's not going to, I was expecting it to make my, <laughs> my hair blonde but obviously the first time I used it my friend who tried to do the hair for me when it went brassy obviously she'd used a blonde on it so it made that blonde lighter but now since I've let that blonde really come out it just lightens your hair. So basically, if you're like me and you think, oh, this sounds good and you want to get this, if you're getting this shade particularly, don't think it's going to turn my dark hair blonde because it's not. What it's going to do is whatever colour your hair is already, when you put this on it, it's just going to lighten that colour. It's not going to make it blonde. It's going to lighten it. So like of the colours it shows you here, if any of these colours are the colour of your hair before you put the dye on this is the colour it's going to go so with this darker colour that I have at the top here if I was to go and put this on my hair just now it would just make this colour three times lighter up to three times lighter but it's not going to turn it to a light ash blonde which is what <laughs> I stupidly thought but yeah I like it and it's usually on offer at Superdrug as well. Oh, I love this product so much. I was absolutely gutted. I could probably cut the top off this and there'd be some in it. But this is the Body Shop. Oh, I'm getting a notification. This is the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalising Cleansing Oil in Gel. With three precious seed oils. Black cumin, cumin oil from Egypt. Excuse me. Rosehip oil from Chile and camellia oil from China. I love this. I don't know how much it is. I want to say maybe £26. I got it when I was doing body shop at home, which I haven't done for just over a year now. I absolutely love this stuff. My skin loves it. Oh, it smells like luxury spa. It's so nice. I actually think I am going to cut the top off it because I miss it so much. So I definitely recommend this. If you're in the market looking for a new cleanser, um, I'm assuming it would be good for all skin tones. It says, oil and gel facial cleanser, massage daily onto dry face, rinse off with water to see the gel texture transform into light cleansing milk. Upon rinse off, impurities are removed, skin feels cleansed, skin looks more radiant and is moisturised for up to 72 hours. A suitable for sensitive skin. Yeah, so... It like, I think it'd be great for everybody. Even if you had the oiliest of skin, I still think this would be great for you. And it is so luxury. And I don't think it's that expensive. I mean, I personally don't think 20-something quid is that expensive. You don't need much of it. It's 100 millilitres. And I was using it... I'm so excited about it, I can't speak. I was using it day and night. And I had it for ages. So, yeah, I do highly recommend it. And I would pick up another one. My trusty roll-on. There's nothing to say. It's the same one I get all the time. I always use Sanex. It doesn't interfere with the pH balance under my arms. It doesn't give me any rashes. Just love it. My only gripe is it does run out quick. Another thing that's usually always on offer, though. Also finished up this. I got this in a charity shop. It was a set of stuff that the other half noticed. Because he's like a sniffer dog, that boy. He just sniffs out a bargain. This is the Botanics Reviving Body Wash. It was nice enough. Uh, just 50 mils. Got through it pretty quick. I am so bad at using way too much body wash. I love it. You need a good lather though, don't you? So that was very nice. Another thing I've finished up. This is my second bottle of this. This is the Revolution Bond Restro Restore Treatment Plex number three. So this is basically Revolution's version of Olerplex number three. So Olerplex number three is the bonding treatment that you you wash your hair the way it, you don't wash your hair. You soak your hair. You put the number three treatment on. You leave it for as long as you possibly can to give your hair what it needs. This is exactly the same, It said this costs you £10 instead of £26. Do I think it works as well as Olerplex? Yes, I do. I, I don't notice that much of a difference between the two of them other than the price. They're both 50ml, 
oh no, 100 mils. They're both 100 mils. But as I say, one is a tenner and the other one is £26. I really don't think one is better than the other. And I go on fine with both of them. So it just depends on what you want to pay your money for, I guess. Um, I've only tried... Have I tried the shampoo and conditioner of this? I can't remember. I think I might have. Possibly. But yeah, I would get this again. And if you're looking for the same thing as Olerplex 3, but on a budget, give it a try. The next thing I have finished, oh, this is falling down, this thing, is the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Body Butter, formulated for sensitive skin. Just your normal body butter. Aloe Vera, very, very good, especially if you're going to be out in the sun and if you're needing a bit of soothing in your life. Very good. I also used to keep this in the fridge, especially the year before last because I actually did get a bit of sunburn when I was at a barbecue and it was great. Another thing I have finished up is a shampoo. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo, the Delicate Soother with delicate oat rice milk and oat milk. This is for sensitive scalps and fragile hair. Now, my friend Emily, my bestie who stays down in York, her daughter, her oldest daughter used this range and when I was at theirs staying once, I just tried it and it was really nice. Uh, the rice cream and oat milk, it soothes your scalp, nourishes, softens and protects. I do not have dandruff, but I have a really dry, itchy scalp which drives me through the roof and this was just a great brand. And yeah, again, I would get it again. This bin's going to fill up. Put it up like that. The next thing I finished was some Epsom salts. These are the lavender ones. I picked this up in my cherries um, collab that I did with them. I got this and I got the normal ones. I, I was told that these are really good if you suffer with joint pain or fibromyalgia, things like that. Just pour it into your bath. And yeah, I used them up. I don't think they helped me relax or gave me a great night's sleep because I struggle with both of those things in general but I would get them again you can get them in home bargains I believe and B&M's also so we did that I finished up this I kept it to show you normally I don't bother because I do my face mask Fridays and you get it all in that video but I, I kept this to show you this was the skin techniques sleeping a uh, overnight sleeping mask soothing and repairing a moisture and nourishing contains lavender extract to prevent clogging pores and dehydrated skin. Now, when I got it, it says feather weight, and when I opened it, I was just like, "What the hell is going on?" This is the reason I kept it to show you. It's a little sashy, so when you first feel this, you're just like, "There's nothing in there." This was amazing. This little sashy lasted me so many uses, so so good, and I think this must have been from Home Bargains as well. It's by the same brand Skin Techniques and I've used a few of them before, but if you see this, pick it up. Honestly, it was so good and honestly so relaxing and it made my skin feel amazing. It just says, cleanse and dry skin before use. Open the pouch and remove the sachet. Squeeze the contents on your fingers and gently massage into your skin. Leave the mask on overnight as you sleep, allowing the mask to do its work. Stay Start your day refresh and looking gorgeous. And you don't need to wash it off. And I'm telling you, it lasted so many different uses. Brilliant. So if you see this, give it a go. I also finished up this... Oh, hair attached. This sample as well. This is the Vici Mineral 89 Booster Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. I can't say much about it because with these kind of samples, how are you going to know? Um, one of my all-time favourite makeup artists, and she's not on YouTube, but she's on Instagram, is Helen Willis, and she swears by this. So I really would love to get a bigger size to try. Another thing I've used up and I absolutely loved is the Vitamin E Skincare Hydrating Mist. This is Super Drugs own brand. I loved it. I used it day and night, multiple times. 
a day. It's very refreshing. It's very moisturising. It feels fabulous. In the skin. I love a face mist. I love face mists. They're amazing. So I do highly recommend this as well. Loved it. <laughs> Breaks my heart. I actually hate when you run out of your favourite products. I hate it. This dry shampoo is brilliant. It's by Andrew Fitzsimons. It's the fresh dry shampoo, which was exclusively to Primark. I don't know if they have it anymore. I know they still have his range in there, but the past couple of times I've gone into my Primark, I haven't found it. And it costs £2.50 and it's brilliant. I have one there, which is nearly done. And I believe I've got a couple more in the cupboard because I think I bulk bought them at one point. I love it and I love the smell. It reminds me of... Is it Trevor Sorby? I think it's Trevor Sorby. His products. Oh, love it. Serenely. Oh, the sunway. Now you're going to have to take your hair down and rub that in, Julie. Look at the riot of my hair. See what I mean about my hair? It's like so fly away and thin. I'm going to have to get a brush. Because you don't want it to be like a... Mine's mean. My hair is just so flyaway. I washed it last night and I put a Garnier mask in it and I think it's made it too soft, believe it or not. So my hair is just like crazy. And I suffer with the worst spade head because I just kind of keep still in my sleep. But I love this stuff. So if you can still get a hold of it, you should get some. The other thing I finished is this. I do not know how to say this brand. Spagnum, S P A, S P H A G, N U M. Spagnum Botanicals. Anyway, I reached out to this company and they kindly sent me their body wash, their shampoo and conditioner, and it's for people that suffer with psoriasis and eczema. Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. I'm still using the shampoo and conditioner and see when I'm really having that dry, itchy, getting on my nerves, scalp moment. I love it. I just love it and it makes my hair look amazing. It doesn't smell great, but I've smelled worse. In fact, the body wash, this, smells like feet. Not gonna lie. It smells like cheesy feet. Okay, but anyway, uh, this is says it's peat body wash for extra dry and sensitive skin. Healing peat mud and olive oil. But I'm so happy excuse me that got to try it another thing i have finished up is this i don't know how to say this either f-e-k-k-a-i don't know how to say that so i'm not gonna this is the brilliant gloss shampoo 60 mils it says moisturizing high shine no sulfates no parabens no silicone and i got this in the full unique beauty kit they didn't have the shampoo, uh, the conditioner actually. Oh, I love the smell of it and it made my hair look fantastic. So I really enjoyed that. Another thing I have finished is this by Primark Beauty or Skincare. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Boost Serum. It's only got 2% Hyaluronic Acid so it's not that high in hydration. And it's also got probitamin B5. It doesn't say that much about it. It was okay. I don't know if it made a drastic difference, but I wanted to try it out. I used it up. I want to say it was maybe two or three pounds. But yeah, if you're looking for a hyaluronic acid, maybe you want to try Primark's one. It obviously doesn't have a high percentage of hyaluronic acid in it though, so it's not going to give you loads and loads of moisture because the percentage is quite low. Another thing I have used up is this Ven, V-E-N-N. -N. This is a vitamin B activated all-in-one concentrate. I don't even know what I thought about this but I was saying to it and I used it <laughs> I don't know what to tell you love this stuff this is the Barry M Coco Loco Coconut Lip Oil I love it the only thing I hate is the applicator I hate it mm. like there's still a bit in there 
but what annoys me oh this stuff i love it i just hate the applicator and i feel like the applicator absorbs so much of the oil that the product gets it's like it's a sponge and it goes and you're missing out on the product so barry m if you're watching which i'm sure you're not please change the the this thing because yeah 4.99 love it mm, mm, mm. another one of my deodorants no point in going on about that oh i love this moisturizer if you have not tried clinique moisture surge range you need to it is fantastic this is the moisture surge 100 hours auto replenishing hydrator and this again is from the full unique beauty kit and i love it I don't know why I smell it all the time because it's fragrance free. You can get the gel formula one and you can get the slightly thicker cream. I have tried both. My skin absolutely loves it. It eats it up. It, it's just like Julia love it. Get it on my face. It is 30 something pounds for the bigger tubs but it's completely and utterly worth it. I have also used up this sample. This is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Moisture Cream. From what I remember, it was nice enough. These little samples are not enough for anybody to know if they're going to love something. But I do love the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. So I was happy enough to try it. Oh, look, it's so cute. I'm almost like, should I keep the bottle? This is the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs, also oh sweet perfume. And it was beautiful. And I used to have it sat there and I would use it to pop it on whenever, but I have completely and utterly finished it up. But yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> and this, oh my God, I love this. I actually went for a job interview at this company. This is the Cores or Cores a Guava renewing body cleanser to renew and hydrate and again i got this in the beauty kit now they used to have the shop in glasgow i don't believe it's there anymore because it wasn't in my second year at college when i was at glasgow and that was way back like 20 2006 or something uh but oh my god see if you can get your hands on the guava body lotion oh oh so sexy i love it smells divine highly recommend I have also finally finished up this. Does it look familiar? <laughs> this is the Premark Prep and Perfect Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray. And this one's got hyaluronic acid and coconut oil in it. Love it. Of course, it looks like Max Fix Plus. Absolutely love it. I don't think they have these anymore in Premark, but if they do, you should try some. I have also finished up the Bedhead Urban Antidote damage level 3 conditioner again i've had this a few times from the full unique beauty kit this is brilliant i believe they have the full size of these now in home bargains i'm not sure how much they are but you should try them out if your hair is needing a bit of help also finished up this holica holica pure essence lip balm which i got I actually got it in the box with this Carly Bible palette. I don't know if himself bought it as well or it was a free gift or whatever. But it was nice enough and it's all used up. We're getting to the end, I promise. I was also sent this. This is a Malin and Goatees. I think that's how you say it. Vitamin E a facial moisturiser. You get 10 mils. It was nice enough. Again, I don't think it's enough for me to be like, Yes, I'm going to go and buy full size. Also finished up this Ed Estee Lauder cream. This is the Estee Lauder Daywear Multi-Protection Antioxidant 24-Hour Moisture Cream with SPF 15. How many mils is this? Let's see. 15 mils. This was very nice. Smells divine like a cucumber smell. I love cucumber. See, you still get it, but see, um, I'm really hungry. It's making me feel a bit... Blue. See cucumber fridge. Oh my god. Hungry. Can't even speak. Cucumber cucumbers range. Julie, this should be bloopers. See Boots's cucumber range. Yay! Give me a round of applause. It smells like that, but obviously it's the water. 
This was very nice. I'm sure it's quite expensive to get the full shebang. It didn't make me break out or my skin didn't react badly to it. I don't know if I'd necessarily run out and get it, but I was very grateful to try it out. No! And the last two things are this Essence. This is the Lash Princess False Lash, Lash Effect Mascara. Every man and their dog loves this. I just didn't. I'm sorry. Very rarely do any mascaras transfer on me. And this did. I don't know why. But it did transfer. And for that reason, I would not personally get this again. And the very last thing is a perfume. And this is the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Perfume. I absolutely love it. My friend Emily, I don't know if she still buys it for herself. But the first time I ever smelled it was on Emily. It's a very fresh scent. And I absolutely love it. And I'm completely out. There's not even the tiniest bit left. And I would get this. It's just, I love it. It's just so fresh and <clears throat> love it. So if you enjoyed seeing my video and seeing what empties I got through, what I thought of them, what I would get again, what I wasn't really that keen on, then please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, give this a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. And this video will be in my empties playlist for you to check out if you wish. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, whatever you're getting up to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.